Hey Vintage Kids, it's Miss Lauren here. I'm at home just like you guys and I've been missing our classroom. So when they asked me to bring the lesson today, I was so excited and I hope that you are too. Over the past few weeks, we looked at what it means to live life for the glory of God in exile. We took a close look at the life of a man named who? If you said Daniel, you are correct as he lived life in a kingdom that was not his home. We saw Daniel and his friends lean into God, trusting and obeying while God constantly provided for Daniel in ways that they sometimes expected and sometimes looked different from what they expected. We are going to continue to think about God's kingdom over the next few weeks as we transition from learning about Daniel and move into a topic that God cares greatly about. Do you think you can figure this out? It's called justice. Justice sounds like a big word, but really justice just means giving all people what they are due. The Bible talks a lot about justice, both in the Old Testament and the New Testament. We're going to spend a few weeks in the Old Testament seeing what God says about justice, but before we get started, we want to learn our new catechism question for these series. So, the question says, how is the word of God to be read and heard? We are going to spend this time reading God's word, hearing what God says about justice. And the way to answer our question is by saying these, this, with diligence, preparedness, preparation, and prayer so that we may accept it with faith store it in our hearts and practice it in our lives so one more time I'll answer the question for you it says with diligence preparation and prayer so that we may accept it with faith stored in our hearts and practice it in our lives as we learn about justice and what God teaches about justice, we should be praying, growing, we should be praying, growing in faith, and practicing what we learn. So, if you're ready, let's jump into learning about justice right now. This week, we're going to be looking at justice by looking at what it means to be just by taking a look at God. God is the only one who is truly just. We hear about how the law is just or about how if we act a certain way that is just. But the truth is God is the only thing that is just. But the truth is God is the only person, thing that is just. So are you ready? So take a look with me at Isaiah 6, 1 through 7. If you have your Bible, you can open it or you can look at it later this week and listen as I read these verses. It's Isaiah 6, 1 through 7. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne and his robe filled the temple. Seraphim were standing above him. Each one had six wings. With two, he covered his face and with two, he covered his feet and with two, he flew. And one called to another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. His glory fills the whole earth. The foundations of the doorways shook at the sound of their voices, and the temple was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, for I am ruined, because I am a man of unclean lips, and live among a people of unclean lips. And because my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts, then one of the seraphim flew to me, and in his hand was a glowing coal that he had taken from the altar with tongs. He touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, and your sin is atoned for. In this passage, Isaiah had a vision. A vision... It's kind of like the dreams we read about in Daniel. And he saw the Lord on the throne. Hmm. 
And in his vision, what things did he notice? Do you have any ideas? He saw that God's train was filling the temple, yes? The seraphim, yeah. Then they were covering their face and covering their feet and singing, holy, holy, holy. Then, what did the seraphim do? That's right, he took the hot coal and touched his lips and said, you now are clean. This vision is so important because it teaches us about God. It teaches us that God is holy. And I'm sure you, while I was reading, you heard that the seraphim used that word. And holy, what does holy mean? Holy means set apart. So God is set apart from us. And as we learn about justice over the next few weeks, we have to first understand who is just. And the only one who is just is who, guys? That's right, our God. He is perfectly holy. And as the vision talks to us about clean. Hmm. So... I need you to take a minute and listen to the scripture again as you read it. Read it to yourself. Read it with your parents. Read it with your siblings. And then I want you to envision how God is holy and set apart as the scripture, these passages, Isaiah 6, 1 through 7 says. And think of ways that you can become like God set apart and clean well guys that's all the time we have for today so remember that god is the only one who is just and i hope that you enjoy your lesson and remember to teach others about god bye